When creating your first rule, you need to make sure you properly set up the conditions of your rule so that it can accurately deliver the desired result. Think of it as a translation of all your manual optimization tasks into automatic optimization rules. In this example we are going to create two automatic rules. 1. To block widgets based on the traffic source and landing page click-through rate. 2. To pause an ad based on its cost per acquisition. To get started with the first rule, simply go to the Rules page, click the New Rule button, then select Block Widget Publisher Rule. First, let's give our new rule a name so that we can easily identify it for later use. In this example we are going to call this rule 100 TS Click 0 LP Click 0 Conversion. The next step is to specify the data we would like the system to look back when checking if the widget blocking conditions are true. In this case we are going to select the last 30 days of performance. This will make sure that, even if we have any publishers that are sending just a few clicks daily but never converting, we still manage to get rid of their cost and improve our overall campaign ROI. Next we need to specify the conditions of our rule. Condition 1. If traffic source clicks are greater or equal to 100 clicks. Condition 2. If track or landing page clicks are less than 1 which means 0. Condition 3. If tracker conversions are less than 1 which again means 0. Once our rule conditions are correctly set, the next step is to specify the campaigns we would like to apply this rule to and the execution frequency. In the Apply Rule to Campaigns field, you will be able to quickly pick the campaign names that you would like to apply this rule to. While in the execution frequency, you are specifying the frequency of how often the system will look at your widget's performance of the last 30 days, and if the specified conditions are true for any widgets present in the selected campaigns, it will trigger a block action on your behalf. Please note that the above conditions are only applicable when you are passing your campaign's traffic through one of the supported tracking platforms, in exception of Google Analytics. In addition to that, in our example rule we know that all our campaign traffic is passing through our landing page, and a click on the landing page is always needed to get to the offer, and then convert. In case you are promoting an offer without a landing page by direct linking the offer, the above example is not suited for your needs. Once you've clicked Save Changes, your newly created automatic optimization rule will start to work on the selected campaigns. Now let's create the second rule mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial. In the Rules page, click the New Rule button, then select Pause Contents Rule. Add the name of the rule Pause Contents with CPA greater than $15. Select the considering data from. In this case we are selecting the last 7 days to monitor the CPA of our ads. Now start to create the conditions of your rule. And in this example, we are giving our ads a test budget of $45 or more. This way we'll make sure that we are waiting our ads to reach the specified spend during the last 7 days or earlier. Next we need to add a conversions condition, either using tracker or traffic source conversions. This step is pretty important, because as we know in order to be able to calculate the cost per acquisition, at least one conversion needs to happen. Otherwise the conditions won't be true, and the rule won't deliver the desired result. The next condition we need to add is the cost per acquisition. And since we are using aggregated traffic source and tracker data in our examples, we need to add the tracker CPA conditions. In this case greater than $15. Like we did in our first example, all left to do is to specify the campaigns as well as the execution frequency, then save the rule.